today I have a video of Terraria Otherworld. This is a spin-off game in the Terraria franchise which is due to be releasing soon so I thought I would release a video of all confirmed pe features. Okay so first up we have returning features. We have generated worlds, liquids such as lava and water, background tiles like plants and trees, health and mana system, time and weather with new features which does include a lightning event, armor accessories and vanity, tools including swords, pickaxes and hammers, coins and enemy drops. Okay here I have four screenshots from the Terraria official Gamepedia website which is just a wiki and in the first screenshot in the top left corner we can see the new inventory system so it has a similar system to the normal Terraria with a character selection, the inventory and that kind of looks like a map in the middle or a crafting interface I'm not too sure but on the top right we have a picture of a house at night time yeah and I said that kind of funny and the bottom right we have a picture of a house in daytime which you can see all kinds of mushrooms and vines and stuff growing you can also see there's a new variety of blocks and tiles okay and in the bottom right we have a picture of the underworld or hell so it's gonna be slightly similar but it does look a bit more it does a lot, it looks a lot better you can see there's looks like a bunch of fire plants and some ash blocks Okay, so we have some returning biomes in Terraria Otherworld as well. This includes the Corruption, the Crimson, the Underworld, the Forest, all types of cavern layers, and the Snow Forest. Okay, for returning items we have Amethyst Staff, the Topaz Staff, the Mini Shark, the Shotgun, Grappling Hooks, and Vampire Knives. So far we know of two known environments slash biomes and this is the crystal cave and something called the core. So far we know of six enemies. One is the trippid, one is the devourer, one is the scavenger, one is the little eater, one is the crystal archer and one is the cry mother boss. Okay, the next thing is a boss called the Cry Mother, which just looks like the brain of Cthulhu, so it's interesting how this might work. It seems, well, uh, this will be a Crimson boss. Okay, we also have some brand new items, which is, again is on the wiki. We have a new block, Ebon Dirt Block, and a bunch of new weapons, the Gold Plated Tomahawk, a Striking tri Trident, a Nickel Sword, Prometheum Sword, a Crimson Axe, a Hellbender, a Holy Staff, the Orb Buster, and a Silicone Sword. And I'm certain not all of these are uh, weapons, but some might be tools like pickaxes. We know of three NPCs at the moment, and this is the Mechanic, the Witch Doctor, and there's, as if this is what it actually says on the wiki, an unknown snail NPC. So that will be interesting. Okay, there is a lot of new features, so I'll just run through them all. The first is many new blocks, items, furniture, and enemies. A defensive style of gameplay, including turrets, so this could be similar to the old ones of Ven, as you see on screen. There'll be a brand new wing slot, so it won't take up accessory slots. Lots more ways to fight the corruption. New corrupted types of blocks, so, you know, a lot more blocks. New weather events, and I think I mentioned the lightning event. There's a new crafting station called a Zinc Anvil. New swimming and grappling cooks, which I think there's a video on some lot, somewhere online. A new robust quest system, and a leveling up system. Okay guys, this is just my predictions here, but I've noticed there seems to be a lot more metal swords, like the silicone and the nickel sword. We might be getting a whole bunch of new ores. You know, there's all we also I also read out the zinc anvil, so we could be seeing zinc ore as well. 
There could be brand new events at the Crimson slash Corruption, as the, as it states, there's a lot more ways to fight corruption. There'll be lots of new weapons, but I think most of these are going to be related to cleansing the corruption, like it does say. And maybe there might be unique armor sets. But that's just my predictions, and I'll thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next video.